far and away the largest tax reduction at the federal level. And then a lot of the other provisions, I mentioned there are about 65 of them. So that one cost the vast majority of the dollars. Many of the other provisions were just offsetting that cost a little bit. And the reduction in the corporate tax rate, we're not tied to. So that loss of revenue at the federal level doesn't affect us. But a lot of the provisions that Congress enacted that offset that federal loss increase the tax base, and we are tied to those. And so that's where we get a lot of that revenue gain from. So that's kind of the big picture takeaway. The cost at the federal level was a rate that we're not tied to. The offsetting increases, we are tied to, that's broadly speaking. Representative Bueller? Yeah, so that's why you see this spike up in uh, 2021 in terms of Sorry, you on? Uh, going back to 14. four. Oh, okay. So that's why we see a spike up in business revenue in 2021 is because of that. That's correct. And that's, I, I, I'm going to get to a table where it spells out a couple of the key provisions that drive that. So these. So. Um, bonus depreciation uh, is back. Yeah, okay. It has increased because from 50% to 100%. And just so that we're all on the same page, Businesses, when they invest in machinery and equipment, for example, for their business, they are allowed to deduct the cost of that equipment. The debate is always how fast do they right. deduct it. Depreciation. It's a depreciation issue. And the terms depreciation and expensing are very similar, and 100% depreciation is really expensing. If I can write off all of the cost in year one, we call mm -hmm. that expensing. Right. But if I have to do it over three years, five years, seven years, ten years, and that's depreciation. Wow. Okay. That is the that that's what it easy is. Explanation of that. So bonus depreciation in one day. So keep listening. <laughs> he has more. So bonus depreciation under under prior law, it was at fifty percent, which basically said in year one you get to depreciate 50% or expense 50% in year one, and then the other 50% was depreciated over time. With 100% bonus depreciation, it's just all expenses get written off in the first year. And the advantage for that is it's a reduction in taxable income. And that's, that's, and businesses can buy that new piece of equipment, write it off against their income this year, and that's why they like it. Now that's through 2022, yeah. and then that bonus amount phases down eventually to 20% in 2026, and then it sunsets in 2027. 